one live video event can create 20 pieces of content. Hi, I'm Melanie Gallia, local real estate agent in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. Let me tell you how you can do this. This video was inspired by Gary Vaynerchuk. He is so passionate about people and agents and local businesses creating lots of content. Whether you're a real estate agent or a small business owner, you have to spend time marketing your business. So you either have time or money. Let me show you how using very little of both, you can get these 20 pieces of content. I want you working smarter, not harder. Since 2017, I've been doing live open houses on Facebook and started doing them in 2018 on Instagram stories. By doing this weekly, I am getting clients, I am getting their home sold, and I'm getting multiple offers. If you have a small business, you could do the same. Do you own a clothing store? Maybe it's Fashion Friday. Or how about a paint store? You could be doing weekly tips on how to use the paint, the product, or how to pick out paint for somebody's home. Are you ready? Let's get started. I've been doing live videos for so long now that it's become a habit. And it became a habit because I put it into my schedule weekly, which is what I recommend you do too. I create two videos in about 15 minutes and here's what I do with them. The first thing is create a Facebook event planning out when you're gonna have your Facebook Live. I use Canva to create my graphics needed for my posts. Be sure you use the native size to the platform. The event size is a bit different than a regular post. This event then becomes shareable to your friends, your clients, and your staff, and this helps create engagement for the Facebook algorithm. Did you know that Facebook has an app called Local? It's a dedicated app showing only events close to your location. So imagine it could show up in someone's feed in a visiting city. Number two, create an ad for that event. A couple of days beforehand, use Facebook Ads Manager to create an ad for your event. Number three, post the morning of in that event. Either post a picture or put a comment and give a little teaser of what you're gonna talk about in the video that you're gonna do that day. That way, the people that are following the event will get notified that it's gonna happen. Number four, film your live event. Make sure you smile, be louder than you normally would because sound matters. I highly recommend using a stabilizer. I use a DJI Osmo. It really helps keep things solid so it's not shaky video, which can be really difficult to watch, especially next thing to talk about, make sure you have good sound. Now, one of the most important keys is make sure you download that video because you're gonna use it again. And the other last piece is shoot in horizontal video because it's gonna be reused in YouTube. Number five, YouTube. This is why I've gotten you to shoot horizontally because it looks so much better with horizontal video than it does vertical video when people rewatch this in YouTube. Some of the great features of the YouTube channel is that you can caption your video. It'll do it for you automatically. Then what our team does is that we correct the captions, we download the SRT file, which will be, need to be renamed in order to use it for Facebook. You're working smarter, not harder. Then you can upload a thumbnail graphic so the aesthetics of your YouTube page look great. Some other tidbits are use cards and add it to your playlist. Next, with that YouTube video, now you can create another ad that targets the people that you want to see it. Seven, create an ad for this video that you just did live. Here's a few tips though to ensure that it looks even better. Use a desktop to edit the video. Give it a name, add a thumbnail, Upload that renamed SRT file that we got from YouTube so that it's captioned. It's so powerful because so many people watch videos without the sound on. And you might even want to add a poll. Number eight, add the video to your website. Number nine, if you're using LinkedIn, you can write an excellent long form ad copy about some great details about the house or your fashion tips or your technique tips if you happen to be a paint store. Number 10, bomb bomb video emails. One of the most powerful tools that I've added to my business is the use of video emails. I love it because I can track when a client opens up an email and watches a video and how many times they open up that email. I often use it with lists of buyers that I already have and you can even use it with future buyers and lead inquiries. Number 11, if you're a real estate agent, this video can now become your video tour that you can put on the MLS. 
I've been talking about working harder, not smarter, and it can take time if you're a new agent and wanna do video, but you don't have a lot of money to do it. This is a great way, just invest in a stabilizer, make sure you have great sound, and boom, you've got your own video tour. Let's talk about Instagram now. I believe that Instagram is gonna be bigger than Facebook, and in many larger markets, it already is. Jared James said, are you creating your marketing the way that you consume it? It really got me thinking about how I consume content. I am completely addicted to Instagram stories and Instagram lives. So that's why I implemented it into my business as well. Number 12, later.com has been a game changer in my business when using Instagram. Let me tell you how. We're able to upload photos and graphics into organized folders. The day before the event, I post a three piece grid system and later.com is really great at being able to schedule out posts like this. If you have an aesthetically pleasing branded page, you're gonna love Later for this because they have a preview section as well. I also love Later.com because they have an analytics system that I can go back and check out the last three months of analytics and really look and see what type of posts and videos are performing really well and what hashtags are working in order to get the greatest amount of engagement for the videos and for the content I'm producing. 13, create an ad for Instagram. Through Facebook Manager, you're able to create the kind of ads that you want that target the people you want to see these videos. 14, Instagram Stories Countdown. Again, using later.com, I were able to upload the graphic and let us know that it's time to put it up the morning or the day before. With this countdown, we can use little gifts and it's a fun little way to get people involved and let them know what to watch for and when it's gonna happen. Number 15, the morning of, again, using Instagram stories, using three graphics that we created in Canva to promote the event. Number 16, shoot your live open house. So, the first thing, as you can see, Andrew is also using the stabilizer. I'm really lucky I have an assistant who can give me a hand, but if not, I'd be flipping it around, or you could do it well yourself, okay? But I'm lucky enough to have Andrea, so I'm gonna let her take control here again. So, the next thing, do your videos, your live videos in the daylight, as much as you can if you're gonna do a live open house, because you want the natural light, and it shows so much better, because you can't walk around with a selfie light to do your live open houses with, unfortunately. So, the next thing is sound, have great sound. Right now I'm mic'd up on my, um, on my microphone in my big camera, but if it was just Andrea and I, we have to make sure that we're really close so that you can hear what I'm saying. And, um, and the other thing, make sure you smile, especially when you start your videos, because it just portrays and it really shows through. Um, and sometimes you have to be a lot, I'm being really loud and really big right now, and it's a lot louder than my regular voice because I wanna be heard and I wanna be heard clearly. Be you. You know, there's lots of people doing really great videos or live videos, but everyone has their own style of being on camera. Find your own, and quite frankly, it's, it might take you a few shots to do it. If you looked at my first video, it's awful. But you know what? It's better than the video than anyone else wasn't doing. Remember that. Um, try to end in a good location if you can. You know, we're in the kitchen right now. This makes it pretty easy to be able to do that. And Andrew, I'm just gonna make sure you stay right here where you are, okay? So that we can see you in this video here too, okay? And then have a call to action. Ask people, make sure, tag a friend, share this video with someone that you think might help or might be interested in the product and service you offer if you're a business owner. And the last thing, be consistent. I make sure every single week I do a live open house video and it's making a huge difference in my business and it will for you too. The other last tidbit, if you wanna be able to upload your live videos to Instagram TV, it must be over a minute. So the last thing is that you're gonna to wanna to save this video once you stopped it, okay? Very, very important part of this because if not, you don't have content for your Instagram TV, which then becomes content for your preview. 17 and 18 go together. Upload the video to Instagram TV and create a preview on your Instagram feed. One post becomes two pieces of content. 
Working smarter, not harder. Here are the best tips I can give you for uploading your video. First, you need to be in the Instagram app, not the Instagram TV app. By being in the Instagram app, it gives you the option to preview it. And when you do that, that preview will show up in your Instagram feed. It also gives you the opportunity to upload your cover photo, which is also known as a thumbnail. Make sure it's in the middle, the text, because it becomes a squared when previewed in the Instagram feed. Make sure you use your description and your hashtags so your video can be found. Number 19, 24 hours after your live video has expired, you can put up another post and link it to your Instagram TV profile. People get to see your video again the next day if they missed it. And number 20, 21, 22, 23, you can reuse this link to Instagram TV any time you want. So if you're doing a price reduction, if there's a certain piece of the house that you want to feature, like the kitchen or bathroom or the yard, depending on the time of year, you can reuse that Instagram TV video and the swipe up in the Instagram stories any time you want. So it's really not just 20 pieces of content. You could have 30, 40, 50, but hopefully the house sells soon so you don't need to do all that. But you can if you need to. So the equipment really needed for doing a live video, your phone and a stabilizer. Programs that you can use that yes, sometimes do have a cost are later.com. That's what we use to do our scheduling for Instagram and Facebook. Bomb bomb video emails. Yep, they are the bomb. And for all of our graphics, canva.com. So why do video at all? Well, there's a couple of reasons. If you're a real estate agent, it's gonna sell homes faster. And if you're a business owner, it's gonna connect you with your consumers and they're gonna see your products and services faster too. It creates brand awareness and it also creates no like and trust between you and your customer and your clients. Let's talk about reverse engineering a sale. The first reason that someone picks you is because they trust you. Before that, they have to believe that you're the one that can help them and get the job done for the need that they have. Before that, they have to like you. And before that, they need to know who the heck you are. And video is a great way to be able to connect with people. Video marketing works. And I have so many stories and examples, but the best is a recent one where sellers chose me to be their agent because he saw me on YouTube, she saw me on Facebook, and they decided I was the one that could market their property the way that it needed to be. Well, I did a live open house, as I always do every single week, and a buyer saw it on Instagram. The cool thing about that is that that buyer then landed up in multiple offers for my sellers, but my sellers are super happy because their house sold fast and it's sold because of the marketing that I do. You could be doing the same thing for your clients and having the same great stories and experiences in your business as well. I would love it if you followed me on Instagram and on YouTube, but not on my Facebook page, please, because I really want to keep that to my local market. If this video has been helpful to you, please share it or tag a friend that you think might help. Are you wanting this list of the 20 things that we went through today for yourself? then go to usingmysuperpowersforgood.com. It's time to go beyond the lawn sign. I'm Melanie Gallia, local real estate agent in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.